leader sequence. So trip operon. Okay. Trip operon. We're talking about attenuation here. Yeah. So in this case, we have these stem loops that can form. So we have a couple different regions that are important to know about in trip L. Um, so the C, this is the mRNA um, that we're talking about here. So this is the mRNA. Now on the mRNA, you have a start. So you have a methionine codon. You also have two trip codons here and then a stop codon. And then somewhere down here, the first trip gene starts. I believe it's trip E. Um, is down here. So, um, okay, so you have these different regions. Um, so this region here is region one, and region two, and of course, region three, and, two, and region four. So region two, can form or is complementary to um, both um, region one and region three. So you can get stem loops um, that are either two, three, so there'd be a region here, so the two, three stem loop then would look like this, or region one and region four would mm -hmm. be flattened out beside it, or you can get one, uh, two, three, sorry, one, three, one, two, one, two, sorry. Wrote it down wrong. Like, what's going on? Okay. One, two. So, one, two, and then if one and two form, then it also allows three and four to form. Ooh. Okay, so region three then is, of course, complementary to region three, but it also is complementary to region four. So you can get stem loops two, three, and, or three, four. Now remember, in, any region can only be forming a stem loop with one other region, it can't be used twice because you're getting base pairing essentially between these guys. That's what's forming the stem loops. So they are going to be able to base, so, pair, base pair with a third region. So you, they can either form stem loops 2, 3, or 1, 2. Okay. When you say the stem loops between 2 and 3, so is this one right here? Yes, in that case you would be, it would look like this. You'd have region 1, and then region 2 and 3 forming a stem loop, and then region 4 flattening out. Okay, so and let's. So region one and two is kind of flat in here. So it's not forming a stem loop in that okay. case. You just have two, three. Okay. Yes, two, three. Right, because two is busy right. mm. binding with three, it can't bind with one. Mm. And because three is binding with two, it can't bind with four. Mm. Okay, so it's an either or deal. So you only can see two different situations. You're going to see the one, two, three, four stem loop, or you're going to see the two, three stem loop. Those are the two different scenarios. So let's talk about when those two different scenarios come up. So Dr. Hertz, uh, on this yes. case, uh, this, this is the only one that we Yes. Right. Because it's four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's look and see what, what where these loops occur when we talk about um, coupled transcription translation with the trip operon. Okay. So in the situation when you have low levels of tryptophan present in the cell. Here you're going to have your, your DNA, and remember your DNA is being transcribed by RNA polymerase, so RNA pole is making your mRNA, and at the same time, the ribosome is jumping on here and doing translation, because in bacteria, they're a coupled process. So it's tracking along and then it's making it's polypeptide. Okay, so it's coming up on this um, trip bell leader sequence now. And as it approaches that region one, um, where we have our trip codons, our two trip codons, if it reaches that region and we're low on trip, it's going to stall. So the ribosome is going to stall at those trip codons because if you don't, if you're low on trip, then the tRNA that carries trip is going to be in low amounts too. So that means there's going to be a delay in getting them to the ribosome. And what that does is that delay causes, and that happens in region one. Remember that those trip codons are in region one. So region two down here has time to form the two, three stem loop. 
and that 2-3 stem loop does not contain the termination um, uh, sequence. sequence. Right, so we get um, transcription of the trip genes because there's no termination. So when you get the 3-4 stem loop, that forms a U-rich region that leads to that um, row-independent termination. Okay, so let's look at that scenario. So in that scenario, you have in this case, you have high or you know, normal levels of tryptophan. You've got your mRNA and your ribosome is uh, trekking along here. It hits those trip codons and it just blazes on through because there's plenty of trip in the cell. There's plenty of um, tRNA charged with tryptophan present um, and when it does that then you end up getting the one, two, three, four stem loop and down here is a U rich terminating sequence um, that causes termination of translation so you don't get any um, translation of um, downstream genes and transcription I mean, sorry, this is transcription. Transcription, you rich region in the transcription, so that you're going to get termination of transcription. Um, so no transcription or translation. Sorry. Because the translation part start, start, stopped when it got to that stop code on. Okay. So, yeah. So when you get the one, two, three, four stem, it means termination. That's the important part. Dun-dun-dun.